It is that story we have heard before, but a story that never loses its luster. A kid from Indiana becomes a star for his high school basketball team and further shines at the collegiate ranks. Then the story typically stops there. A paragraph is thrown in about what the player accomplished once their playing years were behind them. The thing is, for a man like Vince Barilla, a little blip before the credits roll wouldn't nearly be enough for what he achieved and how much he influenced multiple basketball communities. On March 11, 1927, Vincent Joseph Barilla was born in East Chicago, Indiana. He played for his Washington High School Senators basketball team before spending his first two seasons of college ball with Notre Dame. Barilla then left his home state to join the Denver Pioneers basketball team in 1948, and as a pioneer, he earned both academic and athletic All-American honors. I came out here and the snow was white, the mountains were beautiful, blue sky and so on, and I really fell in love with the city of Denver, and I played AU ball for the Denver Nuggets. And so instead of going back to Notre Dame and beginning my third year at Notre Dame, I decided to stay here at the University of Denver. Before graduating from Denver, Barilla joined the U.S. national team in London for the 1948 Olympics and came back with a gold medal. He moved on to play in the National Basketball Association, playing for the New York Knicks, and was named to the All-Star team in 1951. I joined the New York Knicks in the season of 1949, and I played with them until 1954. And we played in Madison Square Garden. I was very fortunate in my years as, a, as an undergrad, even beginning at Notre Dame. I always had a great game at the Garden. The, the basketball hoops were, were, were this big. I mean, they, they were like sieves. Borilla stayed on the Knicks sideline for a few years as head coach before moving to the front office for two professional basketball franchises, including the Denver Nuggets, where he was once named the NBA Executive of the Year. Barilla carried on to be a successful businessman and has been described as the champion of charitable causes. Vince Barilla will not only forever be remembered in the Denver Pioneers Hall of Fame, but more simply, he will be remembered as part of the spirit of Denver basketball. Basketball is a means to an end, but not the end itself. Living and being in a town like Denver, and being part of the university, and, 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 and some of the other things that I am personally involved in means, you know, means much more to me, or as much to me as basketball ever did.